present the world famous adventurer, archaeologist, explorer, mountain climber, and engineer, and the author of the best selling book, 20 Glorious Years Traveling Alone Around the World, and the other book, I Forgot I Was Married. <laughs> A man who calls every corner of the globe his home. Let us meet Professor Ludwig von Tourist. Well, it's nice. Very slippery. Why are you going there? <laughs> Professor, got to hold on. Professor yeah. von Torres. Now, von Torres. Yes. we are very privileged to have you here. My privilege and my pleasure. Thank you very much. What would you like to know? Well, uh, after you seat yourself all proper and everything. I'm all seated if I just hold my foot on the ground. Otherwise, if I go, I'm down there. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're comfortable, huh? I'm, I'm comfortable, but I'm not comfortable. Oh, would you uh, like to go on with our question yeah. the clue right now? Right now. All right, now, you are known as one of the world's truly great engineers. That's true, yes. Oh, well, Professor, what would you say was the most wonderful, magnificent feat of engineering you were you ever asked to perform? Well, the uh, biggest difficult feat I have ever asked to perform in engineering was I was asked to go down and straighten out the Leaning Tower of Pisa. You know where that is? Leaning Tower of Pisa? They want to That's in Italy, the Leaning Tower of Pisa. When yes. I went down there, the tower was leaning like this. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I wanted to go down, I looked it over, and I said, well, I'd want to get something to pull it up, you know? I don't want to use anything hard, because I'll scratch a pizza, you know what I mean? Oh, oh I don't want to scratch the pizza, because... So I got to get something soft, but something that could hold. Oh, so I got some very heavy horses. Horses? <laughs> What's horses? Horses is a big rope. Oh, a rope. Oh, right. oh, a big oh. rope. Oh. Horses, you know. <laughs> and, uh... Horses. You know what horses are. They're ropes. They're big ropes. I thought there was something you ride on. No, that's a horse. Oh, that's a horse. Yeah. Oh, right. Right. Hey, get horse. Get them over here. Let me get Oh, yeah. Now, these are big ropes we call horses, and I got... I looked it over and I figured we put around 7,000 horses ropes around this leaning tower of Pisa where the leaning side is. And then I figured I got to get something that's going to go day and night uh, that, that could go without water for about six, seven days, some kind of animal, you know? Oh, yeah. Well, what animal did you find? Well, we figured on the camel, you know? Camel. So we got 7,000 camels. 7,000 camels. And we got the 7,000 ropes from around the leaning tower of Pisa from the ropes and we tied it around the humps of the camels, you know what I mean? And then at a given signal, I said, all right, go! And I pulled and I strained and I strained for one whole week. They were straining and they were pulling and pulling and straining for a whole week. And did you straighten out the leaning tower, Pisa? No, but we straightened out the camels. Camels, yeah, they were all straight out. It wasn't a hump in the car, though. Oh! <laughs> Oh, that was some job. Yeah, man. Then, uh, actually, you were not able to straighten out the tower. Oh, we could have straightened out the tower. I could have straightened out the tower. Oh. Well, all I had to do was just tilt Italy. <laughs> you tilt Italy and you straighten out. You know, the boot of Italy, you know, where the heel of the boot is? Yes. Well, you just jacked that up, that's all. <laughs> and you wedge in Sicily, and you got it made. Well, it doesn't sound logical. Oh, no, it's not logical, because all the water would spill over into France, and they wouldn't like that. Uh, <laughs> Well, it sounds like a very expensive proposition. Oh, it's so much. It would be over a hundred dollars, you know? <laughs> then you're getting into big money. Oh, know? yeah. Well, the horses alone are selling. No, yeah. You're also going to get a cheap horse, you know? <laughs> you're also known uh, to have discovered many famous engineering principles. What yeah. are some of them? Well, there's one theory of dynamic that I found was the, the theory of the boomerang. You discovered the boomerang? Oh, yes. If I, I discovered the boomerang, and, and to prove it, they're using it in Australia. Oh, that was a very important discovery. Oh, yeah. In fact, if I didn't invent the boomerang, there would be no Australia, because... <laughs> no yeah. Australia? What's, a, a, what's Australia without a boomerang, you know what I mean? Uh. So, I had invented the, 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 uh, the boomerang. The boomerang is this. The principle is on this here. All of this I'll show on a hat. Just a hat, because the theory is X plus snap, and then as the hat goes X up... X plus snap? X plus snap. <laughs> you can't understand horses and snap, right? No. <laughs> X plus snap. Now, when the horse goes up, when, <laughs> when the hat goes out, you yeah. got me. When the, when the hat goes out to the point of no return, the hat gets scared. 
and it starts to come back home. Back. You oh. make a scared hat. Yeah. Now watch, you see, I'm just gonna throw it that way and you'll see it. Now, X plus snap, and you see the hat come around and it comes right back. There it is. You see that? <laughs> that's well, all that's that. Right. Could you do that? Sure, it's right now. Just watch very closely. X plus snap, and it comes right around, and there it is right again. You see that? That's it's a simple thing. I believe. I don't believe. Well, you've seen it right in front of your eyes. What I'm doing is just X plus snap, and you see it go around, and then, you know, the hat comes right back when I'm... <laughs> How long did we rehearse this? Final hat is there, my fucking spoon. Don't it! Professor. Could I have a hat for dignity, please? <laughs> Just a hat. Thank you very much. Now, could we go on to something else? That's the best one you can take out. Get a nice hat for crying out loud. They're also... They're also known as a world-famous archaeologist. That's right. I have, uh, I have... Well, could you tell us if you've ever made any important discoveries in the field of archaeology? Yes, I was kidding around in a desert one time, you know? <laughs> kidding around? I was kidding around in a desert. I went there with a pail and shovel, you know? I was looking for sand. And boy, they got a lot of sand in the desert. If you want sand, go to our desert. So I was kidding around with a pail and shovel. You know, I was digging, digging around, and digging here, and digging. And all of a sudden, I dug down and found a piece of pottery, you know? A oh, what? A piece of pottery. Pottery. And then I dug down a little further and I found a piece of cockery. And I didn't, yeah, and I didn't know if it was a pot of cockery or cock of pottery. I didn't know what it was, you know? So I looked down there and I said, what could it be? It must be something down there if there's pottery and cockery. So I said, there must be. So I got a lot of fellas that we dug down, boy, and we were something, and we unearthed the whole city. But the most beautiful thing that we unearthed was a wall. The most beautiful wall you ever seen. It was all hand-tooled, all handmade, and <coughs> on the wall, there was hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphics. I couldn't make it out. So I got my interpreter, Yaha. I said, Yaha was there. Yaha. He was with the horses. In, in the, in the horses. And he came over and I said, Yaha, could you read what the hieroglyphics says? He said, sure. He says, the hieroglyphics mean, it says, Yachim Yeshura Chadara Machra, Rahim Yachira, Tashatan Machra, Allah Hadim Yaroshira, Machra, 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 and what did that mean? No handball playing against this war. You are also known. Yeah. As a great, great mountain climber. That's right. I am a mountain climber. Now, there is... That's right. 